you know, it's about one forty five now, and I have no idea how I stayed up. Cause um, after I got home from work, right? So let me let me actually start from the beginning. After that clip, at the end of last week, right? I intended to go back to bed, go back to sleep, and, uh, you know, get sleep for work. Um, that didn't happen. Uh, I never fell back to sleep, so I really only had, like, two and a half, three hours of sleep going into work. Um, so then, I did my shift, I got the truck ran late, so I didn't get home till almost 10 o'clock. And then I slept from 10 to 12, almost one. And then slept from one something to four something. And so very incremental sleep, but still very poor sleep, which is not great. Um, and then I tuned into Patrick's stream after I uh, edited the vlog. And then he read or started editing the vlog. And then he rated uh Emil. And then Emil read it out and I just have been like completely following everything. But I finished the vlog and then um I'm ready for bed. It's uploaded and all, so there's no reason for me to drive myself too crazy. <sighs> But I'm surprised I stayed up as late as I did, because I'm very tired. So what I'm going to do is go to bed and hope that I am awake at a decent time in the morning and not sleep all day. I have some good news. Something that I've been um, a little bit hinting at and, and mentioning here and there on stream. Um, I bought plane tickets today. Last year, I went to Houston to hang out with the guys and go to Retro Palooza. Basically, I'm doing the same thing this year. The dates are a little different because uh, the guy running the convention is kind of at the mercy of the convention center. <laughs> so instead of April this year, it's in May. And unfortunately, it's Memorial Day weekend, so it's going to be, or it was more expensive than it was going to be, but still may do. I was able to get a good price on my flights, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm good. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to spend as much this year as I did last, mainly because I don't have as much money this year as I did last, so I'm gonna try to just, uh, you know, bear that in mind. <laughs> but I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to be flying there Wednesday to Wednesday, 22nd to 29th of May. So, that's exciting. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure we're going to have pretty much the same group, if not exactly the same group. Um, we'll see how that goes, but last I heard, it's at the very minimum going to be me, Jordan, Ben, and Patrick. Uh, pretty sure Connor is coming too, but I'll double check that and make sure I know. All right, looking forward to it. And if there are any updates or changes, I'll update. So the big thing that I did today was uh, I sat down with a couple of friends and every season uh, we sit down and watch all of the trailers for upcoming anime. And you know, not for nothing, there's a lot of anime that comes out every season. So sometimes it takes a while, um, but the big thing is that we go through and be like, yeah, this show looks interesting, I'm gonna try this, or this show looks boring as hell, I'm gonna skip this, that type of stuff. Uh, and I was able to add a bunch of, of shows to my list. I'm not, like, I'm not sure offhand exactly how many, but a fair few, probably too many. Um, but I haven't really been watching much anime at all, so... <laughs> Definitely should get on that and try to, uh, clear up some of my plan to watch. Because I have, after this, 275 shows in my plan to watch on, on my anime list. So, um, 
Definitely gonna need to uh, get on that. <laughs> Part of the problem is that for a while I was watching only One Piece, and I haven't watched One Piece in a while. So, mm, definitely need to, to get on that and then start watching again. But um, some of the highlights are Konosuba Season 3. Um, I forget what it's called, but there's a few shows where it's like Power Fantasy or Isekai. And there's a lot more of just genuine fantasy over, um, over like Isekai, which is good because for the longest time we were only getting Isekai and nothing that was like actual fantasy, which is very exciting. I, I personally am a big fan of fantasy shows, <laughs> but, um, definitely looking forward to this next season and trying to get back into anime as a whole. <laughs> I got a thing from the Yeti. One of their recent daily shirts was one called Cycle of Life and Death. And this is that shirt. If I can uh, open it, please. Please open. I know it's a brand new shirt, but come on. Here is our cool design based on Xenoblade 3 and we have Noah, Mio, N and M, and Zed. Oh, Zed. I'm very excited for more Xenoblade shirts because I just, if you couldn't tell, it's my favorite series. <laughs> I feel like that's been coming up a lot lately. Whatever. I'm excited to have more Xenoblade shirts because it's Xenoblade. <laughs> And I've been looking forward to having more. And I think I have enough, or I'm going to have enough, uh, by the time it comes around, to um, have a Xenoblade shirt every day during the trip. Don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm, it's very possible that, I'm, that I will. <laughs> so, I'm excited. So, the big thing that I want to talk about today is uh, my day job, right? As you know, I work at Dollar Tree. One of the things that happened is that the hours of the store, the, the hours that the store is open, were extended, started today. Happy St. Patty's Day, by the way. Um, with that, uh, Sundays now close at 9, the rest of the week at 10. I have a feeling that my sleep schedule is about to get quite a bit worse. Um, so I'm wondering, do I make use of my days off a little bit more and just have streams on my days off or around my days off and like go all in on that? So one of the things that I'm trying to do is catch up all the stream backlogs. So the less I stream, the easier that becomes. But I would still like to try to make progress on the games that are sitting in the backlog. I would like to get at least close to beating Xenoblade 3 before that challenge runs up. But um, with this, it does make it harder to like have the energy to stream because my average start time is two o'clock, starting at two, going until 10 now. That's a full eight hour shift, which for a lot of people is whatever, but to then go from an eight hour shift with basically no break in between and then go and stream, which can be another three to four, sometimes more hours. It's kind of a second job. <laughs> It, it doesn't have an income the way that my day job does, but it is still, like, entertaining is still spending energy the way you would at a regular job. And, you know, a lot of people don't see it that way, but when you're streaming, you are entertaining. So, it is, it is definitely a, um, an exhausting process, or at least it can be. So having these extended hours really hurts because I don't get any kind of break in between 
because like I get home at 10.30, half past the store's closing time. And then stream starts at 11.30. I have barely an hour to eat, feed the dogs on Mondays, bring the garbage out on, and then deal with whatever else is going on around the house. So there's no real rest period between. And that just makes it difficult to, to keep energy up for streams. That's why if you go back and look across the um, older streams, especially Xenoblade 2, uh, the, the longer they go on, the more visibly tired I get and the less talking, talkative, entertaining I am. Because it's just hard to keep energy up like that. So I, it, it, it also doesn't make sense because everything else in the area is closed already for quite a while. So nobody is coming, or very few, if there are any. So it just doesn't make sense to me to keep us open that late. But what do I know? I just work there. Today was the first day that I was closing that it was a 10 p.m. close mentioned yesterday that the store's hours got extended. Now we're open later and open earlier, but I don't see the open earlier part as often. Um, a lot of my shifts are mid-morning or closing these days. So, the, um, today was the first 10 p.m. close, and it, 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 it had me drained, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when I got home, or as I was getting ready to leave work, specifically, uh, I got a text saying, hey, we're all hanging out in the, um, in the, the, the voice channel, uh, if you want to join. And I'm like, I'll be honest, I'm gonna have to let you know when I get home, because I have no idea. <laughs> um, and I wasn't there for long, maybe an hour, before I was like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm tired. I, I can't right now. <laughs> it, it, so everybody talks about their social battery, right? And how after a while, and everybody has a different amount that they can handle before they get exhausted from it. But everybody has a different level of uh, social stamina, social uh, endurance, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but then a lot of people don't always talk about the physical version of that, which is equally important. Um, and, and sometimes the two are, are linked. When you are physically exhausted, your social battery is a lot shorter. And that kind of happened to me today. Normally, even after work, I would hang out with them and be like, sit there enjoying my time for however long until I'm like, oh crap, it's late, I got go. Uh, today was not one of those days. Like, I went to bed like around 12 30 I think which for some people is pretty late but you know I'm me <laughs> um but a big thing that happened was um we got everybody in the call together which was good because we haven't had everybody in the call for a while but I'm, I'm looking forward to things being a lot better now because uh, now that everybody is able to start getting together again, we should be able to have decent sized group calls again and, and like as a friend group do things instead of just splinters of said group. But first things first, I'm trying to fix my sleep so that I have the energy to keep up with that. <laughs> So the streak is broken. Uh, today was the first Tuesday in a bit that I didn't stream. And if you've watched the last like five or six minutes, you'll know why. <laughs> These last few days have really left me with very little in the way of energy. So I kind of haven't had the energy. So I wasn't, I went to bed at 12.30 got mixed results on, on sleeping, which is not unusual given what's been going on. 
Um, and then when I woke up this morning, I was, I could tell that I wasn't feeling a hundred percent. I just didn't realize that I was that tired until I sat here around like eight and I was like, no, sorry, no. And I went and laid back down and that was it for me. <laughs> uh, I didn't get back up till like 12. 1230 maybe even one I don't know but ultimately I was too tired to stream and so what my plan is is I'm gonna stream on excuse me I'm gonna stream on Thursday and hopefully that goes well but I'm leaning more towards um, Pikmin than Xenoblade because we're close to finishing Pikmin I would like to to try to finish that quick and then try to squeeze in some more Xenoblade <laughs> before I uh, run back into anything else. But for now, the big thing is uh, I'm, I'm trying to, to not burn myself out on Xenoblade, which Xenoblade 2, I can, there, there is no such thing as too much for me. But Xenoblade 3 doesn't have that exact same level of, of, compelling to me. How do I phrase that better? The gameplay of 3 is not as... it is compelling, but not to the same extent that 2's is for me. So it can keep me gripped, but it doesn't keep me gripped as hard. So it is easier for me to burn out on 3 than it is for 2, which is why I'm trying to like pace myself a little bit. And not to say that I won't enjoy streaming, a lot of uh, Xenoblade 3, because I will, especially when I get to the DLC. Oh boy. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, I also want to get through everything. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck on the one game forever, if that makes sense. So, probably going to do Pikmin on Thursday, but that's a problem for later. For now, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one. And I'll see you next week.